Hey, it's Steve and welcome to my shop. Now, quite often people will reach out to me typically through email and they'll say, hey, I've got this, this really nice laser, but it's pretty underpowered. It's only five watts or 10 watts maybe. And I'd really like to see if there's a way I can get more power out of it. Now, I have a very similar problem. I, I typically take the review units that I get uh, on the channel and I donate those to nonprofits, but I don't want to really donate a five watt laser to somebody or maybe even a 10 watt laser these days. So I searched around for laser module upgrades and I came across this company called LaserTree. Now they have a whole line of replacement laser modules, but I was particularly interested in one that they call the K30. It's a 33 watt laser module. And according to the, to the webpage, this can be used to upgrade just about any laser you, you have. So I reached out to them and I said, hey, is this actually true? Uh, I have a five watt laser, can I upgrade it to 30 watts? And they said, yeah, absolutely, it should be easy. So I picked one up and when it arrived, I opened the box and, and had a look. You get a manual, uh, some, some new air hose if your air, existing air hose isn't compatible. And then deeper in the box, there's uh, a power supply if your current supply isn't big enough to handle a 30 watt laser. A uh, bunch of other cables to use to hook up whatever laser you have to this laser module. And it comes with this little controller board where you plug your laser into it and then it, you plug it into the laser module. And then there's a new mount, a, a new dovetail mount. And you use that on your existing laser mount once you remove the current laser module. And finally, you get a, the laser module itself. Now this laser module looks very much like an X tool laser module. Uh, it's got integrated air and an integrated laser sight crosshair, which is really nice. So it already looks better than, than most lasers on the market today. So the first step in the upgrade process is to tear down the existing Sculpt Fun S30. Uh, I disconnected the air hose and the power to the laser module and then unscrewed the laser module. So it left me just the base plate of the S30. Uh, while I was doing that, I also took the time to pull the air hose off the gantry as well as the laser cable. Uh, we'll replace those with a different cable during the upgrade and a different air hose. And that's really all there was to the teardown. First step in the upgrade is to find the dovetail that comes with the laser upgrade and put it on the back of the laser module. Now there's six holes on the back and we only need four of them. And uh, in the case of the Sculphon S30, the gantry is fairly high compared to the, the rest of the laser. So I chose the top four holes uh, on, the, on the back of the upgrade module and just put the four screws in with the, with the dovetail and that's step one complete. Next, I took the other half of the dovetail and mounted it on the bracket for the, for the laser module on the Sculptfine S30. Now, there wasn't a really nice way to do this, but I found some M4 uh, by 10 millimeter flathead screws, and they did a really nice job holding this laser module on. There's holes all over the back of this thing, so it's easy to find some that, that line up with your laser. Next, I took the, the little controller that comes with the laser upgrade and, and I took the cable that they provided to plug the laser module in and plugged one end into the, the controller and the other end into the laser module. And that's, that's getting that half of the laser connected. Then I looked in the manual and found out which connector I need to plug the existing Sculptfun S30 laser cable into on the controller board. It was pretty simple. Plugged it in. And uh, finally here, the Sculptfun S30 uses a 12 volt power supply and the laser module needs a 24 volt power supply. There's a switch on this little controller board to select internal or external power. I set it to external. So now we need to find a place to mount that, that upgrade controller board. And the best place I could find seemed to be on the right side of the gantry on the S30. Uh, took a bit of alcohol to clean off any grease there because I, I want to put a piece of double-sided tape there. And I'm, I'm just going to press the module on. It's going to be positioned so that the, the laser module, when it comes to the right, will be close, but it won't hit it. And it's mounted there so that I have freedom to go back and forth in both directions without tangling any wires. So I neatened up all the wires, zip tied some things down, cleaned it up. And I, I did a bit of checking around the, the laser. And when I moved the laser to the front to see if the limit switch was working, uh, that's when I ran into a problem. The laser module is quite a bit bigger than the original five watt laser, so it couldn't reach the limit switch. So what I did was I 3D printed this little plunger. It just sits on the, on the rail. 
and hits the, the contact there. And when I move the laser forward, uh, you can see it actually pushes that little plunger and closes the limit switch. And it seems to be uh, the right solution. So I tried an, an actual home uh, on the laser and it worked properly as well. Now I did one quick test. I just drew a rectangle in light burn and tested it to see if I could actually engrave a, a rectangle. That all worked fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'll run my standard set of, of tests on this using the same material I always use just to see how this compares with other lasers in general, but certainly other 30 watt lasers. And I'll remind you uh, what the five watt version of the Sculptfun S30 looked like as well. And here we go with the results. You can see this is a pretty remarkable cutter, this K30, all the way up over 600 millimeters a minute. By contrast, the 5 watt original Sculpt Fun laser was down around 60 millimeters a minute when it was cutting. Uh, engrave test here looked really good, although I should have went up to at least 16,000 because in the grayscale test here, 14,000 looks good, but I think I really should have gone a little, a little more. Uh, I did use 16,000 when I engraved the dog. You can see the laser is a little bit contrasty here, but it's not too bad. All right, so all in all, I'm pretty happy with this upgrade. It worked really well as far as performance goes. Uh, this K30 is a really nice laser module, and it was really simple to install in spite of the fact that I had to do a couple of extra things. While I was doing this upgrade, a few things came to mind, and some of this is just for awareness if you're doing a similar upgrade. Uh, if you're upgrading a slow laser, maybe it's an older one, uh, don't overbuy your laser module. You probably don't want this K30. Uh, it would be gross overkill if you if you have a slow laser. But if you're buying from Laser Tree, they have a whole suite of these laser modules. Buy something like a 20 watt. Uh, also, that laser module you're upgrading to is probably going to be physically bigger than the original. So be prepared to go into Lightburn device settings and, and modify the size of your workspace uh, to suit so that you're not bashing the, the laser into the frame. And while you're in there, if your laser module has a crosshair like this K30 does, uh, turn on pointer offset, do the calibration so that your pointer is much more useful and uh, then you're ready to go. Now there was one concern I did have that's probably a little more serious. If you look at this laser module, there's only three wires going into it. There's two for actual voltage and one for the pulse width modulation to control the power of the laser. Uh, that means effectively that if you had flame detection before, you probably don't have it now. So again, just be aware that, that you know, you can't leave this laser unattended, though arguably you should never leave, leave a laser unattended anyway. Now, if you are looking to upgrade uh, an existing laser with a new laser module, uh, I did talk to LaserTree as part of the conversation I was having with them to get mine upgraded. And they gave me an affiliate link, which I put in the description down below. If you're interested in buying one of these laser modules and you use that, you're helping out the channel. Also, if you like these kind of videos where there's some kind of a hack you can do to either add a feature to your laser that wasn't there before or improve one that was, then I'd suggest the next video you watch is the one up above. It will take you through the process of creating your own laser crosshair site, which is a great useful tool for, for helping you align on material. And with that, we can wind down. So get out there, make your world, and I'll see you next time.